Sharon, did you hear Ashley? We're live on YouTube now. Okay, then I'm going to start the meeting. Good morning, everybody. I'm Sharon Tyler, the Berrien County Clerk, speaking to you from the Niles Courthouse. I do have, if you see in the corner, the large IS room, I have my Chief Deputy Clerk, Diane Mensinger, please raise your hand. And I have Sheila Wrights, my election administrator. Sheila, will you raise your hand? And then we have Ashley, who's sitting there helping us, who's our tech manager. So hopefully we won't take very long and hopefully everybody is staying safe with these bad roads today. Uh, today we're opening the meeting for the election coordinating committee, committee, which happens every four year where we sign agreements with the schools, the local <laughs> clerk and the county. So at this time, I'm going to have my chief deputy call roll. Okay, Dr. Townsville, Benton Harbor Schools, Berrien Spring Schools, Patricia Ann DeLong, secretary. If you'll acknowledge when I call your name, you'll have to unmute yourself and then mute yourself again after you say uh, you're here, and if you uh, would also include if you're here by Zoom or by phone, and if by Zoom, where you're calling from or coming in from. Karen Weimer, Superintendent of Brandywine. Uh, that's Weimer um, calling in via Zoom from my office in Brandywine. Thank you. Uh, Bridge Run Public School District, Tisha Roberts, Secretary. Ah, there's Dr. Townsville. Are you with us now, Doctor? Dr. Townsville, Superintendent of Benton Harbor. And you're via Zoom from Benton Harbor Schools? Okay, let's try uh, Patricia DeLong from Berrien Springs. Are you with us, Patricia? Yes, I am. I'm uh, Secretary of the Board of Ed from Berrien Springs Public Schools. And are you, oh, there you are by Zoom. And are you calling in from where? I'm phoning in from my home office. Okay. Tisha Roberts, Secretary, Bridgeroom Public School District. Yes, I'm here. Excuse okay. me, everybody. We have to state the local municipality in which you're residing right now. For this meeting to be legal. I am located in Bridgman in Berrien County, working from home. Okay, Kelly Lush, Buchanan School. David Ellers, Superintendent, Coloma Community Schools. Present from my office uh, in the Coloma Administration Building. And Shell, uh, Claire School. All uh, Claire School. Okay. Uh, Philip Freeman, Lakeshore School. I am present. Uh, I am through Zoom in my office in the administration building in Stevensville. Thank you. Dr. Leslie, New Buffalo School. Dr. Leslie, New Buffalo Schools. Kathy Moore, Secretary, Niles Community Schools. I am present and I am in my home in Niles. Okay, thank you. River Valley School, Andrew Clem uh, excuse me, River School of SOTUS number five, Andrew Clemenshaw. Andrew is not present. I'm the administrator for River School. Laura Lush. Okay, Laura. And I'm in my office at River School located in Sodus. Thank you. River Valley School District, Mike Ellert, School Board Secretary. 
River Valley School District. Okay, Riverside Hager, Township Number Six, Tim Smith, Secretary. Riverside School. Amy Marone, St. Joe's uh, School Secretary. Amy Marone, representing uh, uh, sec Secretary, representing St. Joe Public Schools. I'm in my home office in St. Joseph, Michigan. I'll represent both uh, Dr. Bruce and myself today. Thank you. Rick Seeger, Superintendent, Waterville Public School. Uh, present. I'm in my office in at Waterville Schools. Central Thank office. Thank you. Lake Michigan <laughs> College, Dr. And I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, Kubasaki, Lake Michigan College. Uh, President Dr. Kubatsky. Um, Thank you. I'm at the Benton Harbor campus in uh, Benton Township, Michigan. Thank you. Eileen so. Smith, Barry and Risa, School Board Secretary. Thank you. Risa Secretary, are you there? Okay, I believe I just saw um, Superintendent Clough from All Clear join us. Yes, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Would you state where you're uh, where you're at right now? I'm in my office at All Clear Public Schools. Thank you. Okay, Britton Harbor City, Kimberly Thompson. Via Zoom in the city of Benton, <laughs> area, state of Michigan. Thank you. Allison Holm, Bridgman City. I am present here at Bridgman City Hall in Bridgman, Michigan. Barbara Pitcher, Buchanan City. Present. Uh, I'm on Zoom via Buchanan City Hall. Coloma City, Kelly Clements. I am here via Zoom in my home office in the city of Coloma. Thank you. Amy Fedler, New Buffalo City Clerk. I am present via Zoom, New Buffalo City Hall, New Buffalo, Michigan, Bering County. Linda Casperson, Nile City Clerk. Linda Casperson, Nile City Clerk. Okay. St. Joe City Clerk, Denise Westfall. I'm present from my home in Darien Springs. Thank you. Waterville Elite City, Melanie Marvin. Waterville Elite City, Melanie Marvin. Bainbridge Township, Patty Heiler Molta. Baroda Township, Christina Price. Present here in Baroda via Zoom in my office at the Municipal Building. Thank you, Mary Jane Dean, Berrien Township. Here, Mary Jane Dean at the Township Hall by phone. Thank you. Don Vite, Bertrand Township. Present, uh, Don here at my home office in Bertrand Township. Thank you. Wendy Heilicker, Buchanan Township. <coughs> Buchanan Township, Paula Dudiak, Chickamine Township, Paula Dudiak, Chickamine, Coloma Charter Township, Sheila Hickmott, <clears throat> Coloma Charter Township, Galeen Township, Jennifer Richter, Green Township, Hager Township, Sarah Rodriguez. Sarah Rodriguez here on behalf of Hager Township from my home office in Hager. Thank you. Lake Charter Township, Gloria Payne. Lake Township, New Buffalo Township, Judith Zabecki. I'm here at my office in New Buffalo Township, Berrien County, Michigan. Thank you. Niles Charter Township, Terry Ewell. Um, here on Zoom in the Niles Township Hall in uh, Niles, you. Michigan. Thank you. Orinoco Charter Township, Suzanne Renton. 
I am here via Zoom and I actually am in the Charter Township Hall. Thank you. Pipestone, Karen Bashan. Pipestone Township. Royalton Township, Rachel Bernard. Royalton Township. <coughs> St. Joseph Charter Township. Present via Zoom from my SWMPC office in Benton Harbor. Thank you. Sodas Township, Cheryl Andres. Uh, Sodas Township, zooming in from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Thank you. Three Oaks Township, Liz Zabel. Uh, Three Oaks Township, Pamela Gonzalez, Deputy Clerk calling from the township office. Waverly Township, Pat Bambrick. We saw Township, Wanda Green. <clears throat> we saw Township. Saw her on here before. Wanda, are you with us? Okay, Allegan County Clerk, Bob Jabetsky. I'm here at the Allegan County Courthouse in Allegan, participating via Zoom. Thank you. Cass County Clerk, Monica McMichael. <clears throat> Cass County. Van Buren County Clerk, Susie Rome. Rome. Rome is correct. Uh, present via Zoom from Decatur. Thank you. Casco Township, Cheryl Brenner. Casco Township, are you with us? Colbert Township, Naomi Barnes. Geneva Township, Bridget Gumper. I'm here by Zoom uh, in my home office in South Haven, Michigan. Thank you. Hartford Township, Julie Sweet. Present from my office at Hartford Township Hall. Thank you. Howard Township, Sherry Wozniak. <laughs> Howard Township, Sherry Wozniak. Present. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, we can, can now, Sherry. Thank you. Okay. I'm in my office uh, via Zoom. Keeler Township, Carl Davis. Keeler Township. Milton Township, Tony Floyd. Tony Floyd here, present in my home office in Milton Township, Cass County via Zoom. Thank you. Pokagon Township, Christina Davis. Pokagon Township, Silver Creek Township, Lori Benke. Uh, Lori Benke here for Silver Creek Township. I'm Zooming from my office at the Silver Creek Township Town Hall in Cass County, Michigan. Thank you. South Haven City, Nathan Slaller. South Haven City. South Haven Township, Brenda Botorelli. Yes, I'm here from my home office in South Haven Township. Thank you. Okay, I just got to note that We Saw Township is present, but she's having issues, but she's trying to get back on. Is there anybody that joined us late that didn't hear their name? Uh, this is Carol. Diane, Diane East East Lincoln Township. Township. I'm here. Oh, sorry. Lincoln Township. Thank you, Stacy. Carolyn Phillips and Bitten Charter Township. Welcome. I'm a... Uh... Stacey, are you Zoom or phone? Uh, Zoom uh, off Township Hall, Stevensville. Okay, I believe uh, Buchanan Township, I think you've joined us. Melanie Marvin from City of Waterfleet via Zoom from my office and at um, City Hall. Thank you. I believe Buchanan Township is with us. Wendy, are you there? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Diane, uh, this is uh, Kelly from Cannon Community School. Cool. Kelly West. Oh, oh, all right, Kelly, thank you. Are you calling or are you on the phone? I am by phone, and also Ms. Patricia Robinson, our superintendent, will be joining us. And I think she is um, virtual by Zoom. Okay. Uh, Karen Basham, I think I just saw your face. Yep. Stone Township. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yep. Eric okay. Hops, Superintendent Darian Risa, participating via Zoom from the administrative offices in Berrien Springs. Okay. Is your board secretary with you? Um, he is not at the moment. Okay. Call him in shortly. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you might want to put your, oh, there's Gloria from Lake Township. I'm here, sorry. sorry. Had computer issues this morning. Would you stay uh, via Zoom and where you're located? Uh, Lake Charter Township, Zoom, in my office. Okay. Last call for anyone else that didn't hear their name. Yeah, I'm Jeff Leslie from New Buffalo Area Schools via Zoom in New Buffalo, Michigan. Great, thank you. Okay, if you would mute your microphones for now until um, unless you have questions later on, it would help cut down on some of the background noises for us, so that would uh, be greatly appreciated, everyone. Diane, Wendy Heiliger is present. I had to call in, I couldn't get my computer to work. Okay, you thank you, Wendy. Okay, we're gonna go over some quick, uh, a quick review of the document. Of course, each one is individualized for each school district, but there are some general changes that have been made. Um, if you look at that with me, the expiration date will expire December 31st, 2024. The election coordinator for the schools is Sharon Tyler, Berrien County Clerk. The um, board school board positions that is the school's responsibility to keep us up to date on that, how many are um, going to be for each election. We don't track that information, so the schools need to do that. The opt-in and opt-out jurisdiction, jurisdictions, if you've opted out, what that means is you're going to do everything you would normally do for an election except open a precinct. So you have to uh, distribute your AV ballots, collect those, at 8 o'clock, after 8 p.m., you take those to the hosting jurisdiction. Also, a change on everybody's document is the footnote should say 126-2021. That's the copy that you will sign. There's a complete list of duties for the clerk, for the county clerk, and for the school. So you do need to uh, review those. And every election, you should get those out ahead of time to see what your responsibility is for the election. The candidates will file here at the Berrien County Courthouse with our election administrator. The county is responsible for the program and coding of the equipment. However, the local city and township clerk is responsible for testing their own equipment. Publications are specific per each school district. <clears throat> the change here that we had to make is it says the Berrien County's office, clerk's office, shall publish one notice of registration. It used to be called a uh, notice of close of registration. It's hard to teach old dogs new tricks, and we just caught that yesterday. So that's the only other major change other than the footnote date. Uh, the local clerks can charge the school for any actual extra expenses, the actual cost of coding, uh, folding, publications, precinct, precinct kits all comes from the clerk's office. The under polling locations, it will list if you're going to be uh, consolidating precincts. And the election inspectors, the local election commission will appoint however many election inspectors they need. Previously, it st stated no more than four, but um, we know that's difficult in this day and age, so they will appoint however many they need. So for everyone, you need to verify that your name is correct on the 
agreement. If there is a change between a superintendent and the secretary, we need to know that because we have to update the agreement when I send them out this afternoon. Uh, clerks, make sure your name and jurisdiction are spelled correctly on each agreement. Be sure to find the LMC in the RESA copy as well. And if you have a district that runs over into another county, you should have received something from that county, that county clerk. If not, uh, you would need to contact them. I know we have some in Cass and Van Buren, districts that run over. Do not sign the agreement that you have in front of you now. Again, you're going to get a new copy today that will have the 126-2021 footnote. That is the copy you need to sign. We ask that you sign. Once you receive that copy, sign the signature page, scan it, email it to us, and then mail the original to us here at the courthouse. And I, um, on your agenda, the email address and the mail-in address are on the agenda that I sent out yesterday. Once we received all of the signed signature pages, we will collate those and you will get copies so that you have a complete packet for each school district. And the clerk's office will be sending the agreements to the state. So that's it as far as instructions. Are there any questions? Any questions? <coughs> Linda, I see that you've joined us from Nile City. Uh, would you state where you're at? Uh, in my office uh, in Niles. Okay, thank you. Were we sent copies of the agreements by email? Your school was. They were so to forward that to you. They, the school uh, superintendent's office received copies, and they should have passed that on to you. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. So your superintendent might have that. They, they should have sent that on. If you want to email your uh, address to that election at Berrien County, I can make sure that you receive a copy as well directly from our office. Very briefly, this is Dr. Townsend from Benton Harbor. If um, you're, if there's a typo in your name spelling, what do we do now? I'm sorry. Email the correction to elections at berriancounty.org. And we will correct that before we send everything out. Um, okay, quick question. Oh, is it okay to, okay, I'm sorry if I'm hijacking the meeting a bit. So I have my email from Diane Mensinger. Can I reply to that with the correct spelling or I have to put in a different address? No, you can re reply to that address. That's me. Okay, thank you so much. I have a question. Um, I received the agreement for Waterbury Public <laughs> School, but I see here that I'm also to sign for LMC and RESA and I did not receive anything from them. Should I have? Yeah. Okay. So that's Melanie talking, right? Correct, that's Melanie, okay. City of Waterbury. All right, I'll make sure you get those. Perfect, thank you. Anybody else? Cheryl, do you have a question? Uh, this is Gloria Payne, I do. Could you go over those instructions one more time? You said that we were supposed to receive agreements from the Bridgman School District. Did you say that? No, because the so only agreements I received were from you, Diane, all three of them. All, well, all of them, Marisa, LMC, River Valley, Lakeshore, and Bridgman. Yes, and Risa and LMC. Okay, so, but you said they should be dated the 26th. Um, yes, I think you might have been dated the 26th, in my case, is Bridgman. The rest okay. of them are... uh, that was because they had a school board member change. They have all been updated to now to reflect 126.21, and we changed notice of registration from the close of registration to notice of registration. So, and we wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page today. So I'm going to send everybody the latest and greatest version this afternoon. Okay. To finish with our meeting. All right. So, and then we. We don't sign anything until we get those. Then we Correct. sign those. 
and then we scan them and email them to you and send the hard copy via snail mail. Correct. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Yep. Cheryl, did you have a question for us? Evidently not. Okay. Any other questions? Is this, um, Chris, this is Christina Broda Township. Is this time sensitive? So as soon as we get them, we need to sign it and send it, everything mm -hmm. over. Is there a deadline? Yes. No, we would like it time sensitive. We need them no later than uh, Friday, preferably Monday. The email copy, the, it may take longer for the hard, the original signature copy to reach us by mail, but we need the email copy no later than Friday. I need to coordinate all of these, collate them together so that we can submit them to the state. Okay. And we do have a deadline for that. Diane? Yes? Um, do you want just the signature page or do you want the whole thing uh, Just sent? the signature page. Okay. Yep. Diane, this is Kelly from Buchanan Schools. Is it just the secretary on these forms, or I heard you state something about adding the superintendent? Should she be on there? Not adding the superintendent. If you had, um, if you had signed authorization for the superintendent to sign it, we would have it on file. But we have you, um, Kelly, as the school board secretary, signing it. So it was. It's only the name that appears on the agreement. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, at this time, Team of Ice is going to review um, election dates, proposal deadlines, and so on. Good morning, everyone. So the May calendar um, of election dates is published on the Secretary of State's uh, website. The proposal deadline, um, if you had a school millage or township millage or anything like that, the deadline to get that to me is February 9th at 4 p.m., um, according to Michigan Compiled Law 168.646, uh, letter A, for the August and November elections, um, the deadline is the 12th Tuesday before or 82 days before the election. Um, the Secretary of State does not have those calendars on the website yet, but tentatively August 3rd election, the proposal deadline would be May 11th at 4 p.m., and for the November 2nd election, the proposal deadline would be August 10th at 4 p.m. Does anybody have any questions? Did no. you, the August what, what election? The, what was the date, August? August 3rd. August 3rd. And then what was the, for the date today, I thought um, proposals were today by four o'clock. So today is the um, deadline for petition proposal. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, if someone um, had a petition to have a proposal put on the ballot, then that's today's deadline. Okay, so then the deadline for the schools would be February? February 9th at 4 p.m. Okay. And that is also the day that I have to have it all, um, the ballot wording exact the way it's going to appear on the ballot and uploaded to the state. And okay. what you want that in Word document? Yes. Any of these um, proposals that you want on the election or on the ballot, I need to have it sent to me in a Microsoft Word document exactly the way it's going to appear on the ballot. The county does not proof those. So that is totally up to you. And we do not um, consult our legal counsel on those. That is up to the townships, the schools, and their legal counsel. Okay, at this time, we'll entertain any public comments. We are streaming live, so um, Ashley's here to see if we have any public comments. Like. Um, I, have, I have a question. Is all Claire, are all Claire schools going to be having an election this year? Or? I'm sorry, is who going to have an election? All Claire schools? 
Dr. Um, let's see, oh, Claire. Superintendent Clough, are you able to answer that? Yeah, Is that no, Claire planning? Not, to my knowledge, we are not at this point having a election. Thank you. Since we're having trouble connecting to chat, let me check to make sure that chat is live. Okay, if there's public out there watching, we are having some uh, trouble with our connection with the YouTube for the chat. Ashley is checking it, so please hold on if there is any public comments. We're just going to go confirm that chat is working. This will be one moment. Okay, while we're waiting for Ashley to check the, on the chat, did they, uh, is Mike Ellert, the River Valley School District Secretary, did he join us at any point? How about Tim Smith from Riverside School? Paula Dudiak from Chickamee. Sheila Hickmont from Coloma Charter Township. Jennifer Richter from Galeen Township. <coughs> Rachel Bernard from Royalton. Monica McMichael from Cass County. Cheryl Brenner, Casco Township. Naomi Barnes from Covert Township. Carlo Davis from Keeler Township. Present. Ah, are you via Zoom or phone? Say again. Are you present via Zoom? I guess Zoom because we can see you. Would you please state where you're um, where you're currently at? I'm user one on the site. Okay. Uh, for the legality, as Sharon explained, we have to have where you're joining us at. Are you, what city or township are you in? Are you? Keeler you Township. Keeler Township, thank you. Uh, Christina Davis from Pokagon. And South Haven City, did you join us? Okay. Ashley, we'll be right back. Sharon, did you have anything else you wanted to share? No, I have no other business. Well, as soon as Ashley checks on the, uh, if there are any public comments, again, don't find the copy of the agreement that you have now. Wait until it's the one dated 126. 2021, and those will be going out as soon as we return downstairs to our office. If you have any questions, you can contact uh, me at the address that those came from or elections at berriancounty.org. I have a question. This is Sherry from Howard Township. Yes. I was wondering, is Niles Community Schools having an uh, election this year? Let's see if Niles is with us. Yes, Kathy Moore is with us. Kathy, are you guys planning a election for Niles School? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Thank you. Uh, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean it's not, but I don't. I'm not aware of any. Okay, what about Edwardsburg? They're not represented here today. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us and your patience in getting so many versions. <coughs> had we not been emailing updated versions throughout up until now, we would have had to have more meetings and we were trying to avoid any meetings that we could. So thank you for your patience on that. I don't think we have any public comments. 
Actually, it's not back, but I don't see anything showing up on the computer. found any yet. Diane, I have a question. Um, yes. is, the, is the courthouse open if I wanted to drop these signed documents off? Uh, they're not unless you have appointments, but at this time, if you could mail it or you could put it in our drop box, but um, we would prefer that you mail it to us. Or if you're here, call us and someone could meet you at the front door. <coughs> Okay, thank you. While we're waiting, if we're, are we still waiting for public comments? Yes, she's on her way back in, but go ahead. Um, I was wondering, since people were briefly talking about what schools mm -hmm. are going to have elections, could we go through? Does anybody know, like if LMC, Risa, Bridgman, Lakeshore, River Valley, do we know of any that are going to happen? I think Michigan College had them last year, so we'll be not this year, but next year. We're going to have elections. Okay. Same thing with Bridgman. Nothing this year. Thank you. Lakeshore Public Schools is considering a November bond, but that hasn't been finalized and may likely be pushed off until the following calendar year. Okay. Any of the other schools want to address something? <clears throat> Barry and Risa will have elections this summer. Right, and Clark, that does not involve you. Are, um, are you just talking your, your school board election? Correct. For Risa? Right. We handle that for Risa, and then um, Eric Hopstock, the um, administrator there, or superintendent of Risa, and the superintendents go to the school board, and they vote on that. So the local clerks aren't involved in that election. It's a YouTube issue. We're going to do some testing, um, but the testing will have to be done after after the meeting. Okay. So we don't have any public comments right now. Okay. There are no public comments at this time. Uh, Ashley said it is a YouTube issue. So Sharon, if you would like to adjourn the meeting. I adjourn the meeting at 1037. And thank you, everybody, and drive safely today. Thank you.